Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload. What the fuck is that on my face? Bruised my face. Fabulous. <laughs> Today we're doing a request video, kind of a request video, I got this comment and I figured I would talk a bit about dating with mental illness. All the relationships I've been in have been after my diagnosis with a mental illness. Because to those who are new, I was diagnosed bipolar at age 13, so growing up all my relationships were after I had a diagnosis of a mental illness. So yeah, I've always had issues with my mental health and it often has come into play when it comes to relationships. Dating when you have a mental illness is hard and I'm not going to stand here and pretend that it's some easy little riot. I've really struggled in relationships because my mental health has never been as good as it is now. At the time of all the relationships I've been struggling, adds an extra layer to the, to the relationship because you have to take care of yourself so it's hard to focus on the relationship. My relationships ended because I would snap on people, I'd split. It's my last relationship with Kyle, if you can't remember who Kyle is, this is me and Kyle. Um, in short, that was the best relationship I've ever been in, mentally that is. So, you're struggling with your mental health but you want a relationship, What? how do you meet somebody? For me, I've met most of my exes on social media, so they was already aware of what was going on because they followed me, and yeah. I'm using Bumble at the minute to try and meet people. As you can probably see, it isn't going very well, but I'm trying. There's no easy way to start dating people. There's no magic app that exists. So if you're struggling to build a relationship, I don't know what to say really. So relationships. Let me be honest about what it's like. When you're struggling with your mental health and you're in a relationship, it's so hard to balance the idea of being in a relationship as well as your mental illness. And there's no better example of this than mine and Becca's relationship. If you don't know who Becca is, Becca is my ex-girlfriend. Yes, I'm bi. Nice to meet you. When me and Becca was together, I was struggling so much with my mental health. And honestly, it made it so... I, when I was with Becca, I was focused on my mental health. I didn't really have the capacity to focus on the relationship at the same time. But what I'm trying to say is it was extremely hard to balance a relationship with my mental health. My mental health took priority in the relationship. And because I was suicidal at the time, it meant a lot of trips to A&E. Her dealing with me making an attempt. There are attempts I made when I lived with Becca that I didn't tell her about. And don't get me wrong, I did, I did love Becca. And, but when I was with Becca, it was really hard on her. Because she had to deal with the consequences of me overdosing bring stuff to the hospital for me. I just wasn't in the right mindset to really be in a relationship when we were together. Like it started out great when we first moved into a flat shed together. It was it was brilliant. My mental health deteriorated because of lockdowns and all of that. It it really had an impact on me. Because I like being able to go out, I like being able to meet up with people. Honestly I'm just at a point where I'm ready for a relationship now. And I think that's what's important. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to keep saying this. Having a relationship with mental illness is complicated. It's hard. And the biggest lesson I've learned over all these years is you have to be in the right frame of mind mentally to be in a relationship. Like, you have to not be struggling. If you're struggling and you're in a relationship, it's so hard. So, take it from me. 
as soon as you're stable in your mental health, that's when I would start looking for a relationship. Honestly, you need stability. Other than message people on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Find common interests. Try Bumble. I mean, I like Bumble. I tried Tinder as well. I had no look on that. Dating with mental illness is hard.